So when I buy, I am thinking when I'm buying to hold, like in Puerto Rico, for example, I have all these commercial buildings, 30 some buildings. I'm thinking to myself, I will never sell these. As a matter of fact, I put in my mind, I don't even own these. I'm just holding them for my kids. I'm, I'm just holding them for my kids. So it gives me the mentality that I bought something forever. But any of you that came to Old San Juan for a training, I mean, Paul, I know you were there. You know, you walk the streets and you could see for sale by owner Sharif Medawar, my phone number, my email. And so why do I put that? Because I have my prices on the website, CREPR.com. You can go take a look. You'll see the prices, 8.7 million, three and a half million, one and a half million, etc. Why? Because at that price, I will sell. And then I'll move my money to something bigger, better, and something with a bit better opportunity. So the mentality is, I don't want to sell. It's like somebody getting married. They're not thinking, ah, if it doesn't work, I'm going to get a divorce. They are all in, man. They are just like, this is the person I trust them. I love them, etc. And I'm not saying I confuse my personal relationship with my business relationship. I'm just saying the initial thought is, I'm going to sell. But the subsequent thought is, if somebody pays me this price, I will sell, move the money to another better performing asset. So, so thank you for that. But okay. Sharif, wait, so you, you put, you know, a property that probably on the market, you probably could get 6 million and several offers within 30 days, let's say. You got it for 8.6. Eventually over time, the market's going to meet it and then you'll have a market price. You keep on raising it. Okay. In most markets, the market is going to go up, but in a place like Puerto Rico, where I have, where I have what's called historical buildings that are unique. I mean, you look at the website, the properties I have sold in the last couple of years in Old San Juan have been something that somebody comes in and tells me something like, this is the property you're looking for. I like the way it looks. I like this corner. I like the view. So they, I can see them selling themselves. I don't sell them based on per square foot price or comparable sales. I sell them based on the value. Do you know this is the oldest historic zone? I sell value. And sooner or later, somebody sells himself or herself on what you're proposing to them. If not, I'm making money. I even joke with them and I say, I make money as we speak. Sleep on it. When you sleep, I'll be making some more money. And when you decide, we'll make it happen. Thank you for that. You want to.